The Final Empire is book one of Mistborn Era One, and I think most everybody is familiar with the US and UK versions of the book cover, but there's actually over 40 different versions of the Final Empire book covers from countries all over the world. In this video, I'm gonna tier rank every version of the Final Empire book cover. I have them sorted by country, so we're gonna start off with the US covers. First up is the US first edition cover. Uh, this is a classic. This is the one that I always think about when I hear the Final Empire. So we got Vin in one of her dresses that she wears at the balls. Uh, she still has her short hair. She has, it looks like a glass dagger in her hand. Um, we got some curling mist in the background here. And it looks like a couple of angry obligators here at the front. So they got their face tattoos there. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is an S tier. Like I said, it's classic. Next up is the second edition mass market paperback cover from the US. All right, this one is pretty good too. So we have Vin once again, surrounded by some mist. It looks like there's some lightning coming down, which is kind of weird, uh, really close to her. And we can see the spires of Kredit Shaw on the back. I like that they made the sky look red because that's how, it, how the sky is supposed to look in Mistborn Era 1. The thing that I find kind of funny is this dagger that she's holding. Yeah, it looks like a Psy, one of those weapons. Uh, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles carries one. But yeah, the one that she's carrying, it looks like it's black, so I'm guessing it's made out of obsidian. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of cool, but also impractical. I really like the look of Vin though here. I think that the her face and hair length are really nice. Uh, the mist cloak looks a little weird. It actually looks like it's made out of mist. I'm gonna put this one in A tier. All right, next up is another one from the US. This is the first edition mass market paperback version. And I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Vin, I assume that's Vin on the cover, but her hairline looks like she's a 45 year old man with, a, with really bad hair genetics. Let me zoom in on that. Uh, yeah, so her hair looks pretty bad in this one. Uh, she also has what looks like lightning coming out of herself. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the blue alimantic lines because she's burning steel or or uh, iron. But yeah, they're kind of like zigzagging all over the place. And also here in the back, we have what looks like the Grim Reaper all hooded up with a scythe. Uh, I'm guessing that is supposed to be an Inquisitor, but yeah, they never carried a scythe in the book. Uh, and then we have these angry looking crows kind of swooping down toward Vin. And this one's rough. This one's going in, this one's going in C tier for me. And these orders might change throughout. We'll just see what other wacky covers come up. All right, next up, another US cover. This one is very basic. I mean, it's just shattered uh, stained glass. Is there a scene in the first book with shattered stained glass? Maybe at the end when she fights the Lord Ruler. I know throughout the second and third book, there's a few scenes with uh, shattered stained glass. But yeah, I don't remember it from this book. Uh, this one isn't super interesting, uh, very basic. It's not bad though, so I'm just going to put it middle of the road, B tier. It's not exciting, but it's also not terrible. Next book cover. This one is also a US cover and it came out in 2023. I like this one a lot. Okay, so you have the red sky and you have the red sun behind Vin. You have Vin's silhouette. You can see she has her glass daggers. Uh, she's got her mist cloak with the tassels blowing behind her. I can't tell if she, she might be jumping over Kredit Shaw. I see some spires or this just might be a keep of one of the noblemen. Um, but yeah, this one's really nice. I'm gonna put this, oh, I just realized you also see an ash mount in the back with some smoke billowing out of it. I think this one's going in S tier for me. Next up, this is also a US one, but it's actually the graphic audio version. That's right, I'm ranking the audiobook covers as well. Speaking of audiobooks, you have the chance to get any audiobook you want right now for free, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Audible. All you have to do is go to audibletrial.com etc and sign up for an Audible Premium Plus 30-day free trial. 
with that free trial, you get a free audiobook of your choice, and you get to keep that forever, even if you cancel your membership. It's actually a really good deal. I'd recommend checking it out. I'll put a link to it in the description below. All right, so this is the US graphic audio um, part one of the Final Empire cover. This one isn't very good, I'd say. It almost looks like it's AI generated. To me, it looks like the ruins of some skyscrapers. It doesn't look like Kredik Shaw, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for with all these spiky spires. I do like that they have the red sky. They're keeping the canon with that. But yeah, overall, I, I think it's pretty bad. I'm going to put it in C tier. All right, next up we have part two. They split it into three parts for this graphic audio version. So we have the second part of the Final Empire graphic audio version. And this one is pretty rough as well. We have an Inquisitor in the foreground here. So he's got the spikes through his eyes. And I, is, I guess these are supposed to be the tattoos around his eyes that he got as an obligator. But they don't look like tattoos. They look like cracks or fissures going deep into his face. It just doesn't look like a tattoo at all to me. Uh, and then in the background, we have Kredik Shaw, the spires. But once again, it kind of looks like AI generated or something. I, st I have to say this one is a lot better than this first one, though. So I'm still putting it in C tier, but I'll put it higher than the first one. Now we have part three graphic audio version. Uh, this one is actually really nice. So we have Kelsier here as the main focus point. <clears throat> He's wearing his mist cloak. And you can see the blue alimantic lines coming out of his center of self as he's pushing coins outward. A uh, very cool action-oriented shot. You see mist all around him in the background. This is a really cool one. Um, I'm putting this one in A tier. All right. Another US cover. There's a lot of US covers, but we're getting close to the end of them. So here is the leather-bound version of the US uh, cover. It's cool. It's cool that it's leather, but the artwork on it isn't that great. I mean, you got all the alimantic symbols of the uh, different metals. So you got 4, 8, 12, 16, all 16 of them of the basic ones. Yeah. So you have this giant symbol here. That's the alimantic symbol for steel. And that is front and center. Yeah. Just based on the artwork and not counting the fact that it's made out of leather, I'm going to put this middle of the road. It's not really exciting, but it's also not bad. I'll put it higher than the broken stained glass cover. Next up is our last US cover. So this is the young adult US version. So this one's pretty good. We have Vin on the cover again. She's surrounded by mist. She has two glass daggers in her hands and she's in her mist cloak. She's kind of swooping down by the look of it. She's on the on the hunt. I like this one. Vin looks pretty good in it. I'd say that's pretty much how I picture Vin in my mind uh, when I listen to the book or read the book. I'm going to put this one in A tier. I'm actually moving this graphic audio version of, up to the top of A tier. I like that one a lot. All right, time for the next country. So we have the first UK cover. Now these UK covers are interesting. They're very simple, right? They don't use many colors. So they got the black and white, and then they just have a splash of blue here. I guess that blue is representing the uh, the mist by the look of it. I can't tell who that is on the cover though. Let's see if I can zoom in more. All right, there we go. I zoomed in a little more and I still can't tell who that is. It looks like there's spikes coming out of their back, but that doesn't make any sense. Maybe those are just supposed to be tassels from the mist cloak. They have their hood up, whoever it is, and they have a knife in their hand. It could be anybody. And then you have Luthadel here in the background. Yeah, I, this one to me is just middle of the road again. It's going in B tier. I'll put it above the shattering glass because you have Luthadel in the background, which is pretty cool. Next up is another UK cover. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary edition of the UK cover. Uh, this one is okay. It's once again, a little bit boring in my opinion. So we have Luthadel here, kind of outlined in gold. Uh, and then of course you have like a like a brown or a gray background. Yeah, not really much going on. No alamancers, not really any mist. Maybe this is some mist here, the gold going up the sides. Uh, but yeah, this is going B tier. Still going above the shattered glass though. Those were the only two UK covers. Now we're moving on to Bangladesh. 
Uh, so this one's actually neat. I'll zoom in on this one. It almost looks like a stained glass, you know, in the background. And you have the different uh, alimantic symbols from the steel alphabet in that glass. And you have Bin kind of maybe jumping in front of the glass here. She's pushing some coins outward, burning her steel. We have some cool shapes along the edge. And then we once again have Luthadel down here at the bottom. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Uh, this one is going in A tier for me. I'm going to put it bottom A tier, but I'm actually going to make a change and s switch this US cover to the all the way to the bottom. Next up to another country. Here's the Brazil cover. All right, I've seen this artwork before, like the full piece of it. Uh, I'll actually, I'll put it on the screen right now. Yeah, it's a cool piece of artwork. So you have Kelsier here, mist cloak, tassels flowing all around him, and he's fighting a whole bunch of inquisitors. They have their obsidian axes. They don't look happy at all. Look at them. They're out going out for the kill. <laughs> but look at Kelsier here. He's just got a nice little smirk on his face. He's not worried at all. Yeah, this is a really cool piece of artwork. Uh, it's not actually a scene that happened in the books, of course. He didn't fight all these, this many Inquisitors at one time. I'm going to put this one in, it's going in A tier. It's going to go above that Bangladesh one. Actually, on second thought, it's going to go bottom S tier for now. Next up, we have a Bulgarian cover. So this Bulgaria cover features Vin holding two knives. It looks like she's going in for the kill. Once again, she's in her mist cloak. Uh, tassels flowing behind her. We've got mist curling all around her. This one's actually really cool. I like it quite a bit. Let's get a zoom in on her face. All right. Yeah, she looks very determined here. Hand wraps. I'm not sure what she's wearing. It's like a some kind of a suit, maybe a corset. Yeah, this one's really cool. Um, I'm going to put this in A tier for sure. And I think... I'll put it above the Bangladesh one. Next up, we have our first China cover. Now this is one of the most boring covers, I swear, out of all of them. So there's not much going on here. It looks like maybe that's a metal background. It looks like there's some glean off of it from the light. And then we have just this little tiny bit of mist. It looks more like smoke, if, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, this one, I think is, this is going to be our first D tier. Next up is another China cover. This one is a lot cooler. Let's get a close up on this. All right. So what do we have going on here? So it looks like the Lord ruler here in the background and he is surrounded by mist. And then we have Vin with once again in our mist cloak with her knives out. Uh, we've got all kind of detail in this. So we have an inquisitor down here with one of their axes. Interesting choice of color. He's all purple. On this side, I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. Maybe Straff Venture. And then it looks like some ska kind of bowing down to him. Yeah, another inquisitor on a spire here. And we've got Kredic Shaw with all the spires and more mist swirling around the whole image. And we have the Alimantic symbols. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Uh, that fits pretty well. I'm pretty sure in the first book, they really only think that there's eight medals. Yeah, that's a really cool one. This one is, I'm going to put this in, it's going to go in S tier. I think it's bottom S tier for now. Next up, we have another Chinese cover. This one is not nearly as detailed. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this one has, it looks like Kredic Shaw once again like the main spire, the palace, and then all the spires surrounding it. And we have an Alamancer, maybe Vin, maybe Kelsier here looking out at the main palace. Uh, we've got some really thick sw strands of mist kind of swirling around everything. It looks like the moon in the background. Are those stars? Huh. We must be burning tin. We're seeing stars through the mist. We got some random things out here in the in the artwork surrounding the picture. We've got, we've got a mouse, a bat, some berries, some birds, snakes. That's kind of random. This one is going top of B tier for me. Here's our last China cover. This one is hard to see what's going on unless I zoom in on it. All right, so here's the picture. We have, oh, it's actually the same picture as the last one. Yeah, it's the same picture. It's just colored. Um, that's cool. I like that it's colored actually. And it doesn't have all the weird 
like uh, animals that don't even make sense being there around it. Yeah, that's cool. I think I'm gonna have to put this one ahead of the one that wasn't colored. So it's going top of B tier. All right, now we have a cover from Croatia. I like this one. This one has the red sun in the background. You've got mist everywhere. I kind of wish they made the sky more red just to be more canon. But yeah, that's, that's kind of nitpicky of me. Let's get a zoomed in look at this. All right, this one's awesome actually. Yeah, this one is really cool. We've got mist swirling all around throughout the spires of Kredik Shaw once again. Kredik Shaw is featured in a lot of these. Really cool. Um, this one has to go A. I think this is A tier for me. They really did a good job with the mist. Croatia cover going A tier. Where in A tier though? I'll put it here. Next up, we have a cover from the Czech Republic. And what the heck is going on in this picture? I I guess that has to be Vin, right? I don't know who else that would be. In some kind of cloak. I guess it's a mist cloak. I can't see the tassels though. But what is this? Like a laser beam coming down at her. Maybe that's supposed to be the Alimantic blue lines, but <laughs> they did a really bad job at that. Yeah, okay. So we have once again, I guess Kredik Shaw in the background, but it doesn't look like it should in canon. There's no spires it looks like a typical castle yeah i'm not really digging this one i'm gonna put it in yeah this is going c tier for me pretty low c tier too i think it's going here next up is a cover from georgia all right so this cover from georgia you got two alamancers okay they're they're on a rooftop looking out over once again maybe Kredik Shaw all the spires or maybe just some of the keeps of uh of the nobleman oh yeah that's definitely Kelsier back there standing tall and then you have Vin kind of in a hunched position they both have their mist cloaks on I like this representation of the mist cloak I think they did a good job on that uh the mist looks really nice the swirling yeah this is a good one this is going in A tier for me Okay, it's going to go right here. Next up, we have a cover from Germany. This is the first edition German cover. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Let's see if we can zoom in and figure it out. No, <laughs> that didn't help at all. It's somebody holding a sword over their head and they're holding the blade with their hand. Is that supposed to be Nightblood? <laughs> is Basher on the cover of a Mistborn book? Yeah, this, is a, this isn't a good cover. It doesn't give me mistborn vibes at all i don't see any of the symbols i don't see any mist can't tell at all who that is and that's definitely not a mist cloak there's no tassels i'm gonna have to put it in d tier for sure because it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with mistborn okay on to the next german cover this is the second edition german cover now this one is interesting it's just the alimantic steel symbol yeah it's just a big alimantic steel symbol all jeweled out looks like you could put it on like a medallion or something it's kind of boring i'm not putting it in d tier because it actually has something to do with mistborn this time and i think i don't know i can't put it in c tier either it has to go in b tier yeah it's going above the shattered glass the next cover is from italy the first edition italy cover this one is kind of weird I get that they're trying to go for Vin and Kelsier, but that is nothing like I pictured them in my mind's eye when reading the book. Um, okay, at least Kelsier has a mist cloak on. He looks like he has extremely broad shoulders too. He's jacked. <laughs> um, he has long blonde hair. He doesn't look very happy at all. And then Vin, Vin looks way older than she should, especially for the first book. She's like 16 in the first book. And also, what is she wearing? Is that like a corset? And aren't those laces, the, the ties, aren't they supposed to go on the back, not the front? I actually don't know anything about dresses, so I could be completely off on that. Uh, not my favorite cover. This is going in, going in C tier. I don't know where to put it though. I, I'll put it above this one with the huge laser beam. Next up is the second edition cover from Italy. All right, so it's a silhouette of somebody in a, I guess they're in a mist cloak. You can see the, the tassels, um, but it looks like they have red eyes. So I don't really get the point of giving them red eyes. It doesn't make any sense. And then somebody on horseback with a sword. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this picture. Not a very interesting cover. This is going in C tier as well. Now we get to our first Japanese cover. Now in Japan, it looks like they split the first book into three parts for some reason. So this is um, part one of the Final Empire. We have Vin as an anime character. I think out of all of the uh, out of all the Cosmere books, I really think Mistborn would be 
almost perfect as an anime. That'd be really cool with all the action sequences. Stormlight would be pretty cool too. Uh, they don't even, ha oh, wait, is that a mist cloak? No, it's just a normal cloak. So I don't like that. Oh, I do like this though. They they gave the imagery of her burning metals in, in her stomach. That's pretty cool. And she's got a vial of alimantic metals there. Maybe some mist in the background. It's hard to tell if that's mist or just just the lighting. I'll put it in A tier. All right, let's see what the part two cover looks like. Japanese cover part two. So we have Vin as Valette. That's cool. Uh, she's got that little hair piece that she wore to the ball. And then I guess this must be Kelsier here <laughs> holding a big bag of coins. And it looks like he's holding on to the wheel of a ship, maybe. I don't know wh why that's there. Um, and he has long blonde hair. He looks kind of weird. He has a cloak on, but once again, it's not a mist cloak. No tassels interesting i have mixed opinions on this one i'll put it right here in b tier another japan cover our last one it's part three this one features vin by herself it looks like she's chilling um i don't know is it maybe on a building or maybe just on the ground i can't really tell uh there's some kind of structures behind her it almost looks like a bridge uh yeah that one's not very good it's actually going to go at the top of c tier it's still better than the one where her hairline's all pushed back now we have the korean cover this one is super basic it's just the alimantic metal table symbol that's very boring i can't put it in d tier though because at least it shows something from that's canon i guess i'll just put it right here in c tier like mid c tier next up we have this cover from lithuania i guess that's vin but look at her face what the heck Okay, she looks pissed, but she also looks way older than she's supposed to be, especially in book one. Um, yeah, she's having a bad day. Maybe she's been pewter dragging and hasn't slept for like a week straight. <laughs> I thought that was a dagger, but that's definitely a sword. Look how long that thing is. Now, other than, okay, I like that she has a mist cloak on, like an actual one with the tassels. That's cool. Um, and the background looks really cool. Um, okay, so she's hanging out on some kind of a building with like a like a interesting face carving protruding from it okay Cretic shaw in the background we've got the red sky i don't know what this giant building would be though i don't think they had buildings that big but then you got luthadel here kind of sprawling out once again mixed feelings on this one vin looks rough Cretic shaw looks cool the red sky is cool most of luthadel looks really cool but that building is definitely too big i think it's going in b tier for me it's going like back here also i think i'm putting the leather bound edition way lower it's not that interesting next we have the cover from the netherlands very colorful on the outside and it gets super dark in the actual image i guess that's vin she's in her cloak i can't tell if it has tassels this might be when they're sneaking into Cretic shaw her and kelsier i have no idea what this is surrounding the image this one's kind of weird it's gotta go in c tier it's going ahead of this one I'm actually going to put this one down more too. I'll put that one there. Okay, now we have one from Poland. So we have Vin here. She has her mist cloak, which that mist cloak looks like it's been through some battles. Look at that. It's all torn up, tattered. That's pretty cool though. Um, and then she has glass daggers, which this is an interesting interpretation of the glass daggers. It looks like it's made out of straight up window glass. It's just uh, clear, translucent. You can see her cloak through it. But yeah, I think um, I think the canon version is supposed to be obsidian, but maybe they use both types of glass. I'm not completely sure. And then you have Luthadel in the background. She's just hanging out on top of the on top of some building. That's pretty cool. I like that one. So we'll go A tier. <laughs> Next up, we have the first edition Poland cover. Now this one is wild. I guess that's supposed to be Kelsier. And he, for some reason, he's shirtless. I guess that's his mist cloak behind him, but it's not even tied to him at all. It's just kind of like hanging out there. Tassel's going crazy. Oh yeah, that's definitely Kelsey. You can see the scars on his arm. But why is he shirtless? And why is he striking that pose? And the biggest question, why is his hair red? His hair is always described as blonde. He looks more like Kavoth from the King Killer Chronicles, if anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that one. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. That's going to go... You know what? It's going in D tier just because they gave my boy Kelsier red hair. On to the next one. This one is from Portugal. So you have Vin. Wow, her mist cloak looks interesting. It looks like it was once a normal cloak and it just got ripped up. Look how giant those tassels are. In the background, we have Cretic Shaw. You can see the giant 
center spire. And you got Luthadel kind of sprawling out here. We got some mist in the background. All right, so that one's not completely canon, but it's still pretty cool. All right, it's gonna go top of B tier. Oh, cover from Romania. Oh, this one looks bad. Yeah, what is going on here? So first of all, I don't know who the heck that's supposed to be. I guess it could be Vin. It looks like, yeah, I guess they have their mist cloak on. It doesn't look like it has the tassels though. And they have some kind of dagger, I guess, in their hand. The the setting, that doesn't look like Scadriel at all. Especially not Era 1. It looks like there's snow on the ground. I mean, I guess that could be Ash. Yeah, this one's not good at all, in my opinion. I think that's going in D tier also. We have our first Russian cover. This is the first edition cover from Russia. What is going on here? I don't know who that is. Maybe Kelsier. It looks like he's making a freaking Kamehameha wave there in his hand. So I don't know what's up with that. You got like blue streaks swirling around. Maybe that's supposed to be the mist. And then I guess this would be Vin beside him. Credit Shaw in the background. That's cool. I don't know. This one's bad. That doesn't look like him using Allomancy at all. Is it D tier bad though? Or is it bottom of C tier bad? I gotta put it in C tier because it's basically, it's similar to this one with the giant laser beam coming down out of nowhere. Next up, another one from Russia. This is the second edition cover from Russia. We have good old Vin here. This one's pretty cool. She's soaring above the city of Luthadel. She has, it looks like, uh, yeah, those are daggers, but it looks like they're made out of metal. So that's not canon, but it still looks pretty neat. Uh, she got her mist cloak on, tassels behind her. Is that an earring? Do we see her earring in her ear? Yeah, I'd say that's the earring. Okay, that one's pretty good. I think it has to go A tier, bottom A tier. Oh man, this is the cover from Spain. And I don't know if Brandon has to okay these covers or not, but this is a horrible cover. It looks terrifying for one thing. Uh, it's just a dude screaming. And I just realized, I think this is supposed to be Vin. There's an earring in the ear. <laughs> what is going on with... Okay. So first of all, yes, it, it's terrifying because they have... It's in negative. That already makes it look creepy. And this person just screaming their head off. And they're bald. So if it is supposed to be Vin, it makes no sense. And I guess we have a little bit of mist in the background and maybe Credic Shaw. It's hard to tell. Um, that, that's going D tier, D tier for me. That's going right here. It's not as bad as the basic little smoke thing, that, but it's it's pretty, pretty bad. All right, we have another one from Spain. A lot better, a lot more simple, but it's not some creepy crap. Yeah, very basic. It's just the alimantic symbol for steel. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it in B tier with the other covers that have just the symbol on it. Now we have a cover from Taiwan. This one is very basic. It reminds me of this one from China. It's almost identical actually. It's just a little bit of swirling mist. If you want to call it mist, it looks like smoke if anything. That's going in D tier for me. I think it's a little bit better than the China one so I'll put it right there. Now we have the Thailand cover. Um, I'm gonna have to zoom in on this one. It's hard to tell what's going on. So we have Vin up here um, on a castle and I guess that's I, I don't know if this is his Credic Shaw. I mean, there's spires, I, but it could just be anywhere in Luthadel. She's kind of overlooking the city. It looks like there's some, <laughs> those are literally geese, right? <laughs> Why are there geese flying over Luthadel? Okay, that's funny. Um, <laughs> We've got some ash falling. Yeah, it's not terrible. I don't know why there's geese though. It's gonna go C tier for me. I think I'll put it top C tier. Next up is another cover from Thailand. This one is a limited edition cover. And we just have Vin here holding her glass daggers with her mist cloak. This one's pretty good actually. Very simple. She's just in an action pose. Yeah, I like that one. It's going mid A tier. Next up is a cover from Turkey. <laughs> So this image of Vin, this is a piece of art that was created by Ben McSweeney, who is one of the most official artists that make Mistborn art. He was hired by Brandon or worked with Brandon to make all the canon artwork. So somebody just took his drawing and pasted it on a background of a castle. And there's no castles like this that I know of in the Mistborn series. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this one in D tier. It's gonna go top of D tier though. All right, our very last cover. 
because that the one at the very end is a duplicate. This is the Ukraine cover. I don't know what it's trying to represent. That's, oh, I guess they're, it's kind of an alimantic symbol here and there, but I don't even think they're right. I'm pretty sure they just kind of made up their own symbols. Ukraine cover is going in D tier. It's going above the screaming person. All right. Well, that was a long tier list. That was 44 different versions of the final empire. Uh, if you guys want to do this ranking yourself, I'll put a link to this tier list in the description. Uh, also check out the Patreon. Uh, it really help support the channel and you get access to a lot of different perks. I'll link that in the description as well. Yeah, let me know if you liked this tier list. Do you want to see me rank other book covers from other books in the Cosmere? Let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.